Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy, it's a pleasure, it's my honor to be out here as usual and greeting you, bring this message of emancipation to you whereby I'm pointing you to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. And that is why I want to speak to you today concerning how Abdullah taught never the secret of night and day and how it applies to all of our lives so we all know that Neville was studying with Abdullah for five years and he was studying how to understand the Bible psychologically and also he studied the Kabbalah with Abdullah but there comes a time when Neville had this burning desire to go back to Barbados to visit his family and he went to Abdullah and was telling Abdullah how much he had this burning desire to go to Barbados and Abdullah told him that he had already gone to Barbados and many would have listened to Neville speaking of this story when he was asked the question Concerning who would he say was his teacher or his mentor? And he answered the question by saying that if he should choose anyone to be his mentor, it would be Abdullah. And then he went on to tell the story of how he had this experience with Abdullah. And in that one story, holds the entire teaching of Neville Goddard by which he received from Abdullah. And now I want to put it in a way that is so simple that you can understand it. That's why I call it the mystery of night and day. Now when you understand the law polarity, you understand that everything has its polar opposite. Now, without the sun, there could be no life. There could be no light. So the sun constitutes a day. And in the absence of the sun, there is night. So you have light and you have darkness. You have night, you have day. You have a conscious mind and a subconscious mind. You have good and you have the opposite of good. Now you have truth and you have lie. So a lie is just a perversion of the truth. Because you can never have a lie if there isn't false a truth. You cannot have a false prophet unless there's a true prophet. So it's all about night and day. Now. When you realize the mystery of night and day, you would realize that time isn't real. That everything is an illusion. And that the only thing that is real is your consciousness. That the only reality is your consciousness. Your infinite awareness. Now, let's go a little deeper. Every night, you go to bed to sleep and in the morning you awake it doesn't matter your nationality or your culture or your race do I believe that there's only one race which is the human race as long as there is night you're gonna find people would want to sleep. They're going to get into that drowsy, sleepy state and go to bed. So as the sun is going down and the sun is setting, so too, the world is preparing to go to bed, to sleep. And as the sun is rising early in the morning, so too, the world is rising with the sun also. 
Now, when you come to further realization of what is really happening, you come to realize that there's no such a, a thing as a Monday, a Tuesday, a Wednesday, a Thursday, a Friday, a Saturday. There's only Sunday. Because there could never be a day without the sun. There must be the rising of the sun. So my brother and my sisters, it is all about sleep and wake. And that is how you come to realize that Abdullah was teaching Neville that everyone is, a, is a self pushed out. That everything you behold without, it is within. And that there is only God in the world. And that you can be God asleep or God awake. Because all our life revolves around sleeping and waking. Therefore, there must be an awakening. And there must be a sleeping. So you have ignorance. And you have wisdom. So you have the wise and you have the foolish. You have the free thinkers and those who do not think for themselves. So Abdullah was unraveling all of these principles to Neville. And he was teaching him how to awake his greatness. How to awake the faculties of his mind. Because everything is mental. And everything is energy, vibration, and frequency. So he was teaching him how to vibrate on the right frequency, being, being of the right mind, thinking in a positive way, and seeing everything that he desire, that it is already a finished work, that creation is over, it's finished. All you have to do is just get into the right frequency. So yes, my brother and my sisters, when you look around the world and what is taking place right now, where, where the world believe in a pandemic and there's fear and uncertainty everywhere, we are seeing those who are vibrating under the energy of fear and those who are vibrating under the energy of love. So when you understand night and day, you will understand that there will always be those who are awake and those who are asleep. So when you read in the Bible of the Armageddon, you come to realize that it's a war of the mind. It's all philo philosophical. Then you will understand secular Christianity and true Christianity. Whereby true Christianity is where you come to realize that your real identity is your divinity. And you keep your focus on looking inwardly. While secular Christianity is pointing you to look outwardly, to believe in a God in the sky, to believe in a power outside of yourself, and to vibrate under fear, doubt, and mediocrity. When we look around the world, we see prosperity and we see poverty. And it all goes back to one's mentality. Whether you're vibrating, in the realm of the night or the realm of the day. Whether you are living in the night or you are living in the day. Whether you are living in the light or you are living in the darkness. Ignorance or awareness. So even when the Bible speaks of the wise virgins 
and the foolish virgins. It's all about you and your thinking. When you speak about the man who built his house on the sand, and the man who built his house up on the rock, it's all about you and your thinking. So your thoughts is what is creating your reality. And that is why you can create your reality consciously. Because the rich man, the poor man, the beggar man, the thief is one mind. But it's just different arrangement of the same mind. And that is what Abdullah was teaching Neville Gala to understand. So my brother and my sisters, when you understand the secret of night and day, you'll understand how to deal with everyone. You'll understand why you are told to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and thy strength and thy might, and to love thy neighbor as thyself, because the self of man is God. Therefore, if you do not love yourself, if you do not accept yourself, if you do not embrace yourself, you would not know how to love and embrace others. So it's all about you. So Abdullah was teaching Neville that there's no one to change but self. That there's no one to blame but self. And that this life, it's all a game. And it's how you choose to play the game. Because everyone has been given a choice. So it is what you do with your time, how you use your time, how you spend your time is very important. Now, before I come to a close, let me say this. Each and every one of us that are born into this world, we born with all our mental faculties. But if you do not exercise your mental faculties, you will never be able to discover your genius self, your greatness. You'll never be able to discover how powerful you are. You'll never come to discover that you are the Lord and Master of your destiny. You are the creator of your life and that you can become a conscious creator. Many have gotten caught up in the rat, in the rat race because this system of the world have you chasing after money before you chase after your identity. And the Bible teaches you the wisdom whereby you're supposed to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. We're just saying to seek first to know, know yourself. Seek first to know who you are. Because the kingdom, according to Luke 17, 21, is within you. So until you seek to know who you are, you will not have the wisdom to discover the secret of creation. That's why it says that when you discover now the secret of creation, because you discover the kingdom within you, he said all these things will be added unto you, which means you'll be able to create your world how you want it. You'll be, you, are the, you will come to realize that you are the architect. You'll come to realize that you are the great master builder and the master thinker, okay? And then you come to understand how great you are. And then you will come to understand that you are God, because God and man are one, and you descending into generation and must reascend and must ascend into regeneration. So with that being said, my brother and my sisters, all I'm doing is teaching you how to understand the secret of night and day and what it really means. And how when you fully understand it, you wouldn't get trapped in things like birthdays. Because the reason why they have you celebrating a birthday every 12 months when you took nine months in your mother in your mother in your mother's womb it because if you was to celebrate birthday every nine months you would realize it would fall into on a different month every time so they don't want you to discover that because if you discover that then you will realize that time isn't real you will come to discover that everything you see around you is all an illusion and when you go to bed and you fall asleep, it all disappears. Where, where does it go? You go into another world. You're now changing from the, the world of time, space, and matter, which is this three-dimensional world, and you move into the four-dimensional world. And that is why Abdullah was teaching Neville how to go to bed consciously and what to do before he go to bed. 
and how to think and operate when you wake up early in the morning. Because the way you go to bed is the way you will wake up and that is the consciousness you would live throughout the day. And that is why some people, they repeat the same life over and over and over and over and over again and they never make any change in their life and never make any impact on their world because they fail to realize that we are here to build each other like the hand needs the foot and the mouth needs the ears and the ears need the eye and the nose and so on so we need balance in this world so we have to understand every person okay why people might think different to you and you might think different to them it is all about the principle of night and day so those who are eating from the chia knowledge of good and evil they always judge themselves and judge others as as one thing is good and one thing is evil but nothing is good or evil only thinking make it so when you understand what is life and what life is all about for life is god and god is life you can never separate god from life or life from god so when you are eating from the tree of life you will understand that each and every one of us have the same life each and every one of us have the same blood but we dwell on different level of frequency so when a person is operating a certain way you realize that their action come from the thought because every action comes from a thought it tells how a person is thinking because thoughts can never be kept secret for thoughts they are vibrational frequencies and when whatever thought you send out it's gonna come back to you it's the law of rhythm when you look at the sea the tide that comes in is the same tide that goes out because it's the law of rhythm it's like a pendulum swing okay so many people do not understand their own selves they do not understand the mind and how the mind works so they, they cannot even control their mind and when you cannot control your mind you cannot control your life and that is why you have prisons and that is why you have policemen because people do not control their thinking and many were not taught how to control their mind as a little child as a matter of fact the system is set up to control the mind of the people so if you do not think for yourself someone will think for you so all of that what i'm saying here right now it all have to do with the principle of night and day so you have a choice everyone have a choice so you can live as one who's dwelling in the night or you can live as one that is dwelling in the day so you can be of darkness or you can be of light that's why it is said that ignorance is a curse and it is said also that people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge what knowledge you think that people are destroyed of is the knowledge of self the knowledge of who they are because many people are living their life in this world and all they do they eat sleep and shit and they just existing like that and they think that is life but we were put here for more than that we were put here for a specific purpose each and every one of us have a divine purpose that is why each and every one of us we we have a different fingerprint even if if there's a twin they have different fingerprint even if it's identical twins they still have different fingerprints because each and every one of us born for a purpose and so many people when they do not find their purpose they do not know who they are they just go along with life and they just go follow the crowd and they just do everything that they were taught as a little child growing up and they never question anything and they live their life in ignorance and die in ignorance and keep the cycle going all the time so ignorance keep repeating itself but when you become wise and you come into a place of self-knowledge and you come to know who you are it's gonna continue also so Abdullah was teaching Neville this important lesson so he can teach the rest of humanity that you have to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity and when you understand that you realize that there's no one to change but myself so you focus on changing yourself and when you change yourself you change your world you change your environment because you are the lord and master you are the creator of your destiny and that is your responsibility so with that being said my brother my sister i want to thank you 
very much and I want to say to you, if you listen to me for the very first time and what I'm saying to you, if it makes sense to you, then it is for you. That is why I'm encouraging you, if you haven't subscribed already, to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Before I end, let me say that this message I bring to you, it is the single eye. Yes, yes, yes. It is the single eye message of self-realization, of which Matthew 6.22 says, If your eye be single, your whole body will be full of light. That is why I always say to you, my brother and my sisters, hasn't it been that that eye has opened within me, and I would have ascended like a fiery being, having heard the unearthly wind, and would have rolled the stone away and came out of my skull and became invisible, became one with the wind. I would not hear, been here bring this message to you, saying to you that this body is the tomb in which Christ is buried, and there is no other tomb. There isn't a tomb in the Middle East. The real Middle East is within you that place within you because you shall awake and when you awake you will come to realize that you are God in flesh and there's no other God there's no God in the sky there's no God in any religion but within you because it's the very life in you that is why my brother and my sisters I always say to you do not let anyone deceive you by bringing fear on you to make you believe that the symbol on the US dollar of the eye above the pyramid is an evil symbol. No, it is the symbol of the all-seeing eye of God in you, which is your own human imagination, the creator in everyone. For when you have the experience, you will have an awakened imagination and you will burst your crown chakra and go beyond the skull. That's why I'll put my hand above my skull, saying to you that when you have the experience, you come to realize that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N and that it is the dawning of a new day in your life. For the sun parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun. For without the sun, there is no life and there is no light. And without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. Therefore, the sun is what powers all of humanity and the light of the world is not Jesus, a man 2,000 years ago. The light of the world is the sun because no one can exist without the sun. So it is very stupid for someone to think that a S-O-N could create the S-U-N when no S-O-N could be born in this world unless there first be the S-U-N. Also, you're told in Psalms 84:11 that the Lord thy God is a sun, as in the S-U-N, and a shield, and no good thing will he withhold from you. And the sun has never withhold any good thing from you. For when the sun is going down in the evening, you are going down to go to bed. And when the sun is rising all in the morning, you are rising up to continue your purpose on this earth. So the sun is always in alignment and in its purpose. And you have to align yourself with the sun so that you will discover your purpose on this earth also. Now, in Malachi 4 and 2, you are told that the sun, as in the S-U-N, of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings. So when the sun do arise within you, you're going to bring healing to humanity because your wisdom will come to another level just like it is spoken of as Solomon because Solomon means son in man. Oh, that is why, my brother and my sisters, my encouragement always would, be to, to, would always be to you to use your mind power, which is your sun power, your solar power, your God power, your creative power, which is your sexual power, to achieve your every desire. And that was what Abdullah taught Neville Gadid. It is all the principle of night and day. So with that being said, I want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.